Hi, I'm Mike Hughes, and today we're going to go over how to sit the trot. Okay, so when we're sitting the trot, you're going to want your heels down. You're going to want uh, not a whole lot of pressure on your on your uh, feet in the stirrups, but you're going to want a little bit, a bit of pressure, and you're going to want to put your heels down. When you're putting your heels down, you're going to have a little bit of pressure on the balls of your uh, feet to keep your heels down, but you don't want to put a lot of pressure there because then you're just going to bounce under saddle instead of sitting the trot and going and down with the horse being one with the horse as the horse is trotting um, then you'll just start bouncing what we want to do is we want to go up and down with the horse in the sitting trot as you know and we'll be working together as one instead of uh, bouncing over his back so when we do this there's a couple of different ways you can learn how to sit the trot you can either control the horse's speed to where the horse is doing you know maybe a western jog or a slow trot that you can sit and then as time goes on you can do it a little bit more you can speed up the horse or do a bigger trot and you get a little bit more suspension on the horse and the suspension is all four feet coming up off the ground at the same time in the trot that would be the horse's suspension and the more suspension the horse has the more you're gonna have to learn how to sit the trot now when i'm sitting the trot like you'll see me doing on here in rainbow here in a little bit even at the slower trot I'm going to be using my abs. I'm going to bring my lower, my upper abs closer together, which is going to give me a little bit of a heavier seat. I'm going to keep a little bit of pressure on the balls of my feet, keep my heels down, and I'm going to keep my lower back relaxed. And I know it's a lot all in one, but that's how you're going to learn how to sit the trot. And after you practice over and over and over, then you'll be able to uh, sit the trot. It's not going to all come at once. And then, of course, there's going to be the Reins, it, you know, especially if we have our horses uh, collected. You know, if I'm going around to the left as I'm sitting the trot, and then we're going to go with the inside shoulder. As the inside shoulder comes forward, I'm going to want to have a little bit of a release on my inside rein going to the left, and that will allow the horse's uh, left shoulder, free up the left shoulder to come forward, and it will release up his right hind to come forward in the trot so we're not blocking. The shoulder, the inside shoulder, or the outside hip, as we're in the trot, and he's in a collective manner. I've always got pressure. If we're gonna listen to the bit for a second, there, buddy. Get it. Um, there we go. Now I'm gonna use my abs. I'm gonna bring my upper and lower abs closer together. There we go. And I'm gonna keep my heels down. And I'm gonna keep my lower back relaxed, and I'm not bouncing under saddle at all. I'm going with them. Once you're really good at this keeping your once you're really good at sitting the trot like this then we can start speeding them up a little bit so i go ahead and speed them up a little bit faster and i'm going to use the same thing nothing changes now that we're going fa at a faster speed my heels are still down a little bit my abs are still closer together and i'm still keeping my lower back relaxed enjoy your horses thank you Okay, so this was a preview on how to sit the trot, posting sit the trot, bringing horses into the bit. To see this video in full, along with 250 other videos on my membership page, just go to Google, type in Mike Hughes Horsemanship Members page. Uh, click on the link and subscribe. When you do subscribe right now, you also get a seven day free trial. Uh, you still have to put all your information in, but during that seven days, uh, it will be up to you whether you want to stay with the page or whether you want to cancel. If you cancel, you won't be charged, but the seven day free trial is there for you to check out the membership page to see if it's for you or not. And again, if it's not for you, go ahead and cancel at any time and you won't be charged. And if you do stay with the, the site and we'll put a couple new videos on uh, each week and then you'll be on a month to month basis. Again, at any time while you are a member and you're doing the $13.50 a month, you could also cancel at any time. So it's a win-win situation. There is no losing because you get the seven day free trial to see if you even like the page or not. And again, again, if you don't, no hard feelings, just go ahead and cancel. And uh, you can always watch my previews on YouTube and Facebook, Twitter, and a couple of other media sites. So again, we uh, thank you for watching and we hope you're enjoying the videos. Hope you're enjoying your horses. Thank you.